Have you ever found yourself writing text into Unity fields, only to notice a drastically high number of spelling mistakes in your build? Most of you saying no probably use an external tool for writing then, or you're just perfect humans who never make mistakes. And if that's the case, congratulations, but what are you doing wasting time watching this video? Please go and fix the world and all the chaos we're currently living in, as we could use more people like you in charge, frankly. For the rest of us lay folk, however, you've probably found yourself wishing Unity text fields could just do the thing most basic text editors do and tell you when you've gone and f***ed up some spelling, right? Well, today, that's what we're going to make them do. Hi there, I'm Matt, and welcome to Game Dev Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can get a spell checker into Unity and tell our poor illiterate souls that we've done goofed. Before we jump into the video, I'd first like to give a quick shout out to the Game Dev Guide Patreon. If you've never heard of Patreon, it's a crowdfunding platform where you can donate a fixed amount per month to help support the development of these videos, and in return, you get access to some sweet rewards. There's currently three tiers available, starting from just $1 a month, and anyone that signs up gets access to an exclusive patron-only channel in the Game Dev Guide Discord server, as well as bonus behind-the-scenes content exclusive to Patreon. As an addition to that, I've recently added some funding goals, which, when reached, will mean more regular and more diverse content for you as patrons and viewers of the channel. So if you've been enjoying the videos and you'd like to support the channel and help it grow, consider heading over to patreon.com slash gamedevguide or clicking the link in the description below and choosing a support tier to help reach one of these goals. Thank you so much to everyone who is already a patron, I really appreciate your support. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump into making a spell checker, shall we? We could go ahead and build out a whole dictionary full of words, but that's a bit of a long-winded approach to an already solved problem. We're actually going to make use of an existing external library that handles most of the work for us, known as NetSpell. This is a spell checking engine written in C Sharp and .NET. Suggestions for a misspelled word are generated using phonetic matching and ranked by a typographical score, and supports multiple dictionary languages. The default package comes with a standard English dictionary, but if you're interested in building other dictionaries for the tool, I'll post information in the description below. The first thing we need to do is head over and grab the NuGet package, hit download, and then we'll rename the file extension to a zip and extract it. Let's copy this file into the plugins folder of our project. Now, as this is a full-fledged editor, it'll work out of the box. Let's take a look at the library in action. We'll start by creating a little editor window that we can open and input some text into. When I click this button, we call the spellcheck method, which opens up the spellchecker window included with the library. As you can see, it's a neat little tool that shows your string and breaks down the areas with potential issues. You can move through the words and find the correct or different spellings, and it'll create and return a new string back to you with all of your changes. So this is pretty neat, but I'd rather not have to open this dialog every single time I want to check my spelling in Unity. It would be great if I could actually get some of this feedback inside the editor itself. Let's change this up a bit to create a version that shows suggestions inside of the editor. All we need to do is disable the show dialog property and we can now handle callbacks from the library ourselves. We can loop through the suggestions and generate some labels for the window. When we hit the button here, our window will now show all of the suggestions. So if you just want a spell check window in Unity, this is great, but it's not really that useful for actual development. Why don't we turn this into a functional class that we can use and replace our normal text boxes with? We can create a custom attribute that we can then place above any string, which will tell Unity to use our special spell check field instead of the default text field. So let's create a new class and inherit from the property attribute class. Let's create a custom property drawer that we'll use to draw out our spell checked area. Here we'll start by providing a standard text area for our string. I'd like the editor to show the current word that's misspelled and then when the user chooses to do so, create a list of suggestions for them to fix. So underneath our text area, let's create a new line that shows the current word our tool thinks is misspelled. And then beside our field, let's add a button for show suggestions. If they click one of these suggestions, we will update our text box. Now, if we add our attribute to a string in a class, our inspector should show our custom drawer we've created 
and if we misspell some stuff, it'll start giving out spelling suggestions to our user. Clicking the suggested elements will fix their mistakes and make good on their English. I'm sure there's many ways that you can think of to integrate this tool further, but hopefully you can see how an integrated spell check tool like this can be useful in your project. It's worth mentioning that it will also work at runtime too, which can be valuable for any of you that are doing content creation or user-facing text editing in your games. And that's about it for today's video. Before I go, I'd like to give a thanks to this video's sponsor, Skillshare. As you know by now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. As we've been speaking about spelling this episode, why not check out some of their great classes on writing? There's tons to choose from, including creative writing classes, vocabulary exercises, lessons on crafting a compelling plot, and much more. Because Skillshare is a platform specifically curated for learning, there are no ads and they are always adding new premium classes, so you can stay focused and go wherever your creativity takes you. If you're interested in Skillshare and you want to help support this channel, the first thousand of you to click the link in the description below will get access to a one month free trial of Skillshare's premium membership, allowing you to explore your creativity and check out some of these classes for yourself. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know your thoughts down below. Are you going to be using the spell checker in your own project? Or if you're using it already, have you found it useful? If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as you'll get to know when new videos go live. Alternatively, if you'd like to see more from me first, you can click the link on screen now to check out another video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.